some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. We got a continuation from yesterday's video of a sovereign citizen who was trying to, well, help a friend out using power of attorney, but couldn't understand why or how anything even worked. So let's continue on with the video, shall we? Hi, um, is this Marcus? Yes. Hi, Marcus. Um, I'm calling from the solicitor's office. Um, I got your voicemail in regard to Patrick Raymond King. Oh, I'm here right now. I, I think I'm at this. I think I'm at the uh, solicitor's office. Okay. Um, well, uh, yeah, I was just calling to tell you that um, the hearing that's tomorrow um, is not anything you need to worry about. Um, it's okay. because this is a criminal case, so it's okay. not something a power of attorney is really relevant for. Oh my goodness, you gotta love that cute little laugh she has right there, considering she knows what is going on here. She knows that power of attorney is not set up for this kind of thing. She knows he's an idiot for even trying it. So to her, she knows uh, it's all one big freaking joke. Okay, well, he, does, he doesn't have any representation other than the power of attorney. So I just wanted to bring the power of attorney to the to bring it to the, the solicitors to have it recorded. <coughs> okay. Um. Well, I mean, if you're not like an attorney that's representing him, there's like it's not really you know like people who aren't attorneys, even if they have power of attorney, can't represent someone in a in a criminal matter. Yeah, because I'm not I'm not representing him. I'm just. Uh, an extension of him and he's let me know what to do wait a minute do you not understand the right to an attorney in matters such as this if you cannot afford an attorney one will be appointed to you at no cost if you qualify for an attorney because of your monetary situation then one will definitely be appointed to you it is the freaking law but of course for someone who says that they know the law Wow, you don't even understand this thing? Uh, yeah, you don't understand a damn thing about the law, do you? Right, well, um... I mean, I mean, <clears throat> as far as the maxims of law, I mean, there's there's not a state license to practice law, so it's not like I can go to the state and get an actual license. I mean, I could. the best I could get is, like, a, uh, a bar membership which is a PMA, it's a private member association. I already have, I'm already with one of those as far as a PMA. It doesn't matter what kind of stupid prize you got out of a Cracker Jack box this morning. You still have to get a license to practice law in South Carolina before you can do that. Otherwise, it's a felony, you moron. But you don't, I mean, right. you don't know um, about... If does, he doesn't have a lawyer, uh, he'll, he'll get one appointed to him, uh, like... So it's not something that a power of attorney would take care of. Are you an attorney? Yes, I'm the I'm the <clears throat> solicitor on this case. Um, so I'm the one prosecuting this case. Okay. All right. What is your name? My name is Rachel. Okay. DeAngelis. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, it, this is something. So what <clears throat> this is is if he, he wanted me, an attorney, they'll. I'm yeah. sorry. Go ahead. But he he wanted me to enter uh, the power of attorney. Uh, with the solicitor's office, so it's on record. Okay, um, well, I got your voicemail, and I have that he has the power of attorney, um, but again, that's not really... Yeah, I, I have really I have, I have the document here to, to enter. Okay, uh, we don't really, like, we don't deal with power of attorneys. Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what you think the document would do for us. Oh, okay. Um, oh, so, oh, so you're you're the solicitor, so then so then I should send the, yeah, writ, the writ of discovery to you? For him? Um, no, of course not. You shouldn't be doing anything that an actual attorney would be doing unless you want to be charged with a felony for practicing law in South Carolina without a license. But go right ahead. If you feel like that you can do this without a license and get away with it, sure, be my guest. 
Because uh, I sent the office of uh, discovery, and they're trying. They're basically they're telling me that they called the attorney in the case. I said, "Well, who's the attorney in the case? They can't tell. They couldn't tell me who it is. I don't understand what that what that deal is." <clears throat> but they said there was no there was no attorney entered for appearance for the affiant. So then they told me to call the solicitor's office. Uh, there was a well, writ yeah, of discovery the sent to them. The, go yeah, ahead. So the there, affiant there was, um, that you mentioned, Zachary Lapori, he's yeah. a police officer. Uh, that oh, he's, a, okay. he's the one in charge of this case. So he doesn't have a lawyer. He's, he's the police officer. <laughs> He's not, it's not a civil matter, it's a criminal matter. So it's just between the state and Mr. Right, so, so what made it criminal? Oh. What made it criminal? <clears throat> I mean, he... A traffic infraction is not a criminal. You can look up. You can look yeah, you, them up. It's a, yeah, you're talking about statutes and codes, though. I'm talking about <clears throat> the probable cause to pull him over in a criminal matter. I mean, was he under investigation? Because it looked like maybe they knew who he was and they were saying something about... Another matter, I guess, another matter with ICE or something. When it comes to ICE, you may want to have the actual attorneys help them out because you know what? If you get involved, all you're going to do is screw your friend over. You may have good intentions, but good intentions can lead to disaster. Sir, I can't really discuss the case with you. You're not his attorney. Well, you're right. That's why you gave me a power of attorney. So I'm going to enter it in the solicitor record. The, um, the, the um, power of attorney. So basically, any attorney that he would hire, we would all consult. Okay, he does not hire an attorney through us. We do not represent people. You, are you, you would need uh, but to you're, wait for but him to get an attorney. <clears throat> I mean, right here, the non-lawyer maximum members of groups who are competent non-lawyers can assist other members of the group achieve the goals of the group in court without being charged with unauthorized practice of law. See NAACP versus Burton, 371 U.S. There, no state shall convert a liberty to license, charge a fee for it. Murdoch versus Pennsylvania. The practice of law cannot be licensed by any state. See swearing board examiners. I don't understand why I can't, why I can't, how there's plenty of non-lawyer maximums. You really need to brush up on your cases, at least do a little bit more research before you make yourself look like even more of an idiot. The NAACP versus Button, not Burton, you idiot, was a case about, about civil rights group seeking out and advocating for those who, uh, needed to be represented in court. But the case was won by an actual lawyer, not a wannabe like you. Murdoch versus Pennsylvania was about a religious group being forced to get a license for selling religious materials. That was struck down, too, with the help of actual lawyers, not a wannabe jackass like you. And Schwab versus the Bar of New Mexico was about somebody who would normally qualify for a bar license. But yeah, you just can't get anything right, you damn moron. Try going back to school or at least being a little bit more thorough in your research. Or better yet, stay away from drinking the lead paint that may help your cause out later on down the line, okay? Just saying. About assisting him with his um, defense, that would be with his attorney. We are not his attorney. He would right. need to get an attorney or he can get one appointed to him. Through right. The state. So, so for now, I'm entering that's power of attorney. That's so that's so that I can... with him needs to take care of. Right. That's why I have power of attorney. So then I'm going to enter that on the solicitor's record. So for now, I have power of attorney. To be able to talk to whoever attorney that would be a that he would hire. Okay, yes, but we don't have like we have no control. You, yeah, you have right, to talk to his attorney. Yeah, but You're right now, I attorney. right now I'm assuming that you guys presume and assume that you have power of attorney, and that's why you think that you can appoint counsel to him no, regardless of who he wants. Real. No, 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 no. You're still getting it wrong, you moron. It is the courts that appoint the attorneys, not you, not the prosecutors, the courts. Now get your facts straight. Understand what power of attorney actually is. But of course, you're not going to be able to do that considering, well, you've gone so far down the damn rabbit hole. There is no escaping it. We, we do not think we have power of attorney over him. We don't have anything to do. Well, so, we're just prosecuting the case. Uh, so then how would you how would you appoint counsel tomorrow if he doesn't have it? 
we don't appoint count. The solicitor's office does not appoint counsel. Okay. All right. So we you do not handle anything. It's, <clears throat> Okay. We don't so that. right, so they would. So basically, the judge would demand or order him to hire the the county's public defender's office, right? Well, no, he wouldn't hire the public defender's office. He or he would. A yeah, he would be. Yeah, yeah, he would be appointed the public defender. But yeah. the only, but the only way, the only way a judge could make could could do that against his will is if they have power of attorney over his principal. Well, there's just so much wrong with that statement right there. A judge can force you to have an attorney if you are found incompetent and indigent. Otherwise, you uh, can choose not to have the lawyer, but still, a judge can advise you to have one on standby just in case, because, you know... Not all of us are lawyers, and we certainly don't know the uh, process that goes on in a courtroom unless you are educated in the subject. And you, sir, certainly haven't been educated on the subject now, have you? Well, he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't have to take a, he doesn't have to get appointed an attorney. That's an option that he has. Okay, um, is he, is he going to be brought to court tomorrow? Because he's in an ICE facility. Um, I... I would believe I would have to take care of it, or they would have to figure out a way for him to end up with an attorney. Yeah. Uh, and if it, well, I don't know. I, I'm 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 sorry. I, I'm I switch subjects. It, as far as him coming to court tomorrow, because it says he has a court hearing tomorrow. He's in an ICE facility, and they don't bring him. Then they might try to give him a warrant for non-appearance. If, you, if, you, <clears throat> if he's in an ICE facility, we would not put, get a warrant against him, or if we did, we would dismiss it. Uh, we understand that someone who is in a night hold cannot get to court unless they're brought there. Okay, so as of right now, uh, they wouldn't be able to push a public defender on him, say he didn't want to get one. They wouldn't be able to push any type of attorney or public defender on him through the, the whole duration of the case? Uh, I mean, is he not looking to get an attorney? But no. Okay, so if he wouldn't, <clears throat> if he didn't want to hire, or let's say he didn't want to uh, apply for a public defender, he wouldn't get held in contempt for that, right? All really depends on the situation, dude. If he is ordered by a judge to have one because he is found incompetent and indigent, and he still doesn't get one, well, yeah, he can be held in contempt. But if he otherwise has not been found uh, incompetent or indigent and uh, has been advised to do so, but not ordered to do it, then, yeah, uh, it's not a, uh issue where he can be found in contempt of court. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't really deal with that. I'm not 100% sure what the process is. No, that's never happened before in court? Not that, not that I know of. It has not happened. I don't, I mean, I'm sure it probably has. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So is it, so am I allowed to enter the, 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 I mean, I should be able to record this with the, with the solicitor that. I have a uh, power, uh, power of attorney right now. Uh, we don't have anything to do with like him or his defense. You wouldn't give anything to us. <laughs> so is it is there like a county recorder's office that I should record it at? I'm not. I I have no idea what you would do with your power of attorney. Um, if he gets an attorney <clears throat> and he doesn't want one, like you could file it with them so you can talk to them. But we don't. We don't deal with anything about a defendant getting an attorney. Well, I sent it to the officers, and we're and he's attempting. He's he's basically trying to be able to talk to the prosecutor, have me talk, be able to talk to the officers to give me power of attorney, and they're basically saying that the only way that he can do anything is he moves pro se. Well, he doesn't need a temporary bar card to move pro se or defend any type of trust if if the state is responsible for the public debt and the state's a trustee and they're liable unless. He's going to be in a surety position, which I assume that he's in a surety position, right? Isn't that what the bail bond is about? Just what the hell are you talking about, considering those words didn't seem to go together very well? I mean, it just seemed like a bunch of mumbo-jumbo BS that could form a word salad or something like that. Does he have a bail bond? 
I, the sheriff's department told me that it was a right. reconnaissance bond, um, but they're telling him that he has a five thousand dollar bond. But then they're saying ICE is saying that they have a bond. <clears throat> but then the well, county ICE sheriffs are saying ICE is, ICE is separate. He's not in an ICE hold because of like ICE is just a separate issue that would have to do with his immigration status, which could be affected by this. Like, right, but that's a se that's a separate bond from the criminal case, I presume, right? Like, he, he would have a bond for the criminal case and then a bond for ICE, correct? I believe so, correct. Does he have, I mean, I, I know he has one bond, the 5,000, is that is that for the criminal case or is that for the ICE case? Because that's what we can't I, I figure out. I have no idea what ICE would have on him. That ICE does not talk to us about stuff like okay. that. He was told that there was an ICE bond for like $5,000. He originally was told that it was a criminal bond for this criminal case. <clears throat> so he's under the impression that he has a $5,000 criminal bond. But then is his uh, his girlfriend saying that he, she was There's told it was a nice something bond. something that I would need to talk to an attorney about. You are not his attorney, even if you right. have the power of attorney. Yes. So I cannot, like... Th that's, not, that's, not even, that's not even how it works, though. That may be how it works in your little universe where you are supremely educated but in the real world where people have an actual education and know how things work that is exactly how it works because you wouldn't want any information to get out that attorney client privilege to get out into the public now would you of course not you lame brain jackass he gave me power of attorney to handle the affairs or anything, and you're trying to tell me that regardless of his power of attorney, you can't talk to me because you need to talk to what? A bar attorney? I would need to talk to whoever is representing him. Right now, I have power of attorney. I'm representing him right now. I have power of attorney. You are not representing... You cannot represent somebody in a criminal matter if you're not an attorney. I have six lawyer maxims right here, non-lawyer maxims, that say otherwise. I assure you, somebody who is not an attorney cannot represent Litigants somebody. can be assisted by unlicensed okay. laymen during judicial proceedings. See Brother Men of Trainment vs. Virginia yes, yes, Extra. Yes, an attorney can be assisted. There, you are litigants can be assisted by unlicensed laymen during judicial proceedings. It doesn't say anything about an attorney. It said unlicensed laymen. The practice of law cannot be licensed by any state. Schwer vs. Board of Examiners. Members of groups who are competent, non-lawyers, can assist other members of groups achieve the goals of the group in court without being charged with unauthorized practice of law. See NAACP. The, the NAACP, they even ruled on it for that. So how are you going to tell me that? As I said before, using court cases that you have no understanding over, no idea of what happened in them, is not going to help your cause out any. Because none of those cases that you continue to cite have anything to do with your particular situation. Go back to school and learn something, you moron. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video, so thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much.